Mr. Bednar. We'll start with Peter Baugh, the athletic. Hey, Jared, um, I guess just what did you see from, from Darcy tonight and what's impressed you most about him since he's, he's kind of settled in this last month or two? I thought he was solid start to finish, you know, made some big saves for us, was fighting to make sure he could see the puck, uh, looked square and calm and relaxed in the net tonight, stayed upright, you know, big goalie. You got you to gotta make the perfect shot to beat him right now. Eric Dean, Mile High Sports. Jared, you just said that word relax to describe Darcy Kemper's game. Is this maybe the most relaxed you've seen him play today in terms of just being focused and, and zoned in the entire night? Yeah, I mean, I guess I've liked a lot of the games he's played, but I think for me, great start to the game. Um, both teams, well, especially them, they had a couple shifts where they pinned us in the zone and had some good looks. Um he just, yeah, he just looked calm and, and collected in the net. He looked like he he was seeing everything. Um, we did a nice job clearing rebounds in front of him, so he was making all the first stops. Uh, they had some dangerous chances off the rush throughout the game. Um, yeah, I would say it's one of, you know, we I don't think we gave up a lot in the second half of the game, but I do think that he made, you know, he made uh, some difficult saves look uh, relatively easy tonight. Back to Peter Bogg, the athletic. Uh, Gabe Laniskog scoring at a career high rate. What what do you think has has led to him scoring more goals this year than maybe past years? I don't know. He's been scoring at a pretty good clip for us for the last few years as well. Um, just comfortable in his game. I'm using that word again, but knows what he has to do um, in order to score goals. And a lot of that is being a real strong net presence. Um, shooting the puck when he has the opportunity, good chemistry with Mac and Miko. Back to Peter. And talking about that chemistry with Mac and Miko, the power play finally broke through tonight um, after it had been a, a while since you guys had scored on the power play. But what, what kind of led to that breakthrough, do you think? Well, I just thought, you know, we got – sometimes it takes a little bit to get a look at their uh, penalty kill – Guys start figuring it out. So I think, what was it on our third opportunity? Mac makes a nice play climbing the wall and sort of beats their cut and, and flush on that wall and, and finds the seam. Um, great shot by Miko. We had a couple opportunities before that on some of our earlier power plays and didn't capitalize. I thought their goalie was playing well. Um, I think it's just, you know, you get a, you get a handful of looks and, and eventually – you know, someone's going to figure it out and, and try to make a play to, to, to be a difference maker. And that's what we got out of it on the third one. A couple more here on Zoom. Eric Dean, Mile High Sports. Jared, I was just wondering if you had any opinions on the McKinnon hit on Nolan Patrick in the first period. No, I mean, I, I, I didn't really see, get a real good look at it. Uh, looked like Mac was coming across through the neutral zone and Patrick was coming sort of at him in that direction. He was working to get above him because it looked like he was going to get the pass and then they collided and I saw him go down, but I haven't really looked at a replay yet. And back to Peter Bobby Athletic. Um, on the topic of Jack Johnson, what did you think of his play tonight? And just in general, what, what does he bring to you guys in games like this against physical heavy teams? Yeah, heavy guy, uh, real sturdy. So when he goes into a corner with a guy and he lays the body on him, he, he has the ability to close plays down, get it, get the puck stopped so we can get in and out of our zone. I like this puck play tonight. You know, no turnovers, just did a nice job. If he had a play, he made it. If he didn't, he got it up and out of our D zone. So, um, you know, I thought all of our D were pretty good on that, but that's, that's Jack, right? He's a sturdy guy, understands our penalty kill. He's doing a nice job in that regard, but just – um, you know, D zone play is the strength and, and, and tonight was, was a good example of that. He was, he was heavy in a bunch of different areas. He's hard to get to the net on because he's a good skater and he's a big, strong, big, big, strong guy. Take a couple here in the room. Jared, we were in Eric's official chance to test. Obviously the energy level for a guy like Jack Ike is going to be heavy, but it sort of works maybe to Colorado's advantage already knowing that Eichel or not, the energy level in this building is already in high so it, Your team probably wasn't going to be phased much by that. Yeah, I mean, this we know this is a, uh, one of the top teams in the West. Um, 
deep team coming at you with all four lines and D are a big part of their offense. So with Eichel, without Eichel, with Stone, without Stone, you know, like the, everyone's kind of got some influx into their lineup here because of injuries and COVID and everyone kind of works through that. Um, you know, it doesn't matter. You got to be on your game. When you come in here, you're going to get beaten. And, and so I think it's an easy game for our guys to get up for. Um, I think teams get up for for the top teams, you know, like we're seeing everyone's best. Vegas is seeing everyone's best every night because, you know, you, you have and they know that's the only way you can win is you got to be firing on all cylinders. And we're no different. You know, when we go and play Tampa a few nights ago, um, it, it's one that you circle on the calendar. You want to measure yourself in regular season against other top teams. And uh, I think our guys were aware of that tonight, too. Since December sixth, I think it's twenty two two and two now is the best record in the league. What, just why? I mean, I'm sure you're going to have that in your own town, but what's working? Well, I think we got a good team. I think. Uh, the streak as that streak started to grow, I think our guys were digging in, you know, like you, you would kind of work through a little bit of the mid season blues there because we had the streak going. So there's a consistency uh, to our game, uh, competitive nature to our game. Guys wanted to keep that streak going. Um, that was snapped. And now we're just, you know, I just feel like there's a, a hunger and a commitment to our group right now. And, it, and it's good hockey team. We're, we're deep hockey team and, and, getting different contributions from different guys every night, in different aspects of our game, whether it be power play, penalty kill, just trying to, you know, get our, our whole game, make it a, a good 200 foot well-rounded game. And our guys have bought into that. So we've, we've been having some success. Thank you, Jerry. Yep. Thanks.